Today's Health Watch, a possible major breakthrough in breast cancer treatment. A new study divides the disease into four major classes. One of them might already be treatable with a drug that works against ovarian cancer. Dr. Rasha Simmons is with us. She is the chief of breast surgery at New York Presbyterian Weill Cornell Medical Center. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So tell us what's the major headline from this study and how it may help save lives. Well, what the study really does, it's another piece in the puzzle to give us information telling us how all breast cancers are not the same and therefore all treatment should not be the same. It's not a one size fits all for breast cancer treatment. Mm -hmm. What stuns me about this, and, and it makes you excited too, is it's called a reshaping of the scientific understanding of breast cancer, a reshaping of our understanding of it. Right, and what we're looking at is how they genetically are different and genetically behave different. And for example, these basal cell carcinomas, a yeah. type of breast cancer that has typically a very poor prognosis, what we're seeing from this study that they actually are genetically very similar to ovarian cancer. Yeah. And therefore the treatments we've been using that are breast cancer drugs might not be as effective as some of the ovarian cancer treatments. And one of the researchers on the project said that it may very well provide a road, a road map for how we might cure breast cancer. In theory, it could. That's mm -hmm. correct. Well, well, there's still a, a way to go before we get there. Correct. Why is this the first breast cancer genomics project of this scale? Why weren't we doing that stuff before? I know there's a big federal project behind doing more of that with cancers. Well, but why just now? In part of it is just the, the technology wasn't available before. Mm -hmm. And this is a very large study, over 800 breast cancers that now have been analyzed and categorized into these four categories. So let me ask the obvious question. If if you're someone at home, you have breast cancer, someone in your family has breast cancer, mm -hmm. what should we be asking our doctors? Well, you should ask your doctor what kind of breast cancer you have specifically, and would you be eligible for a clinical trial to look at these medications that might be better than what's traditionally been offered for breast mm -hmm. cancer? Mm -hmm. You're a surgeon? I'm a breast cancer surgeon, mm -hmm. correct. You get a feeling that we are now, some 10 years later, really coming to believe that we're finding the pathways to curing lots of disease, including cancer. Yes, and I, I certainly expect that 10 years from now, we're not gonna be doing as much breast surgery as yeah. we are today, because we're finding smaller and smaller breast cancers and being able to treat them theoretically without surgery at all. And why do you say that, that there'll be smaller and smaller breast cancers? Well, our imaging is getting better as well. You know, we're able earlier. to define cancer so much earlier with our more sophisticated imaging. And then because of that, as a surgeon, it makes my job easier if I have a tiny little cancer to treat versus a large cancer to treat. I'm much mm -hmm. ab more able to sure. help a woman and help her survive breast cancer. That's so fascinating as you oh, hear about the future of medicine, yes. that there'll be less and less surgery if we can diagnose this stuff beforehand. Dr. Simmons, what a pleasure. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. It is now